What's up everyone? All right, for today's video, um, I'm gonna go over my three favorite knots I like to tie for fishing. Um, so before we jump into this, I'm not a knotologist. I, I know there's actually a lot of science behind it and competitions and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, if you guys think I tie one of these wrong or you don't like them, or you, I, you know the names of them, I don't. I don't know the names of any of them. This is just what I've learned and I haven't really lost many fish at all. Um, then comment down below, let me know. All right, so we're gonna jump into it. All right, so I got some twine here and I'm just using a, uh, a hanger. So um, my first knot, uh, and this is probably just the easiest one that everyone knows is, um, like let's just say that's like a loop. You just put your twine through and then you just start twisting and twisting. Let's just imagine this is the loop of the hook. You just keep twisting and you twist and you twist and you twist and you get about yeah, five twists in that little hole right here between the right at the at the hook the little hole there you just stick your line end right through and then so now you have it through and then you have this other hole from where the twists are and the excess line and you stick the excess line right through that hole and you just tighten it up you just pull tight and it tightens up so that's my first knot I use that for kind of if I just need a quick knot that I don't want to put too much thought into um, it's just gonna be at the end of my line nothing important all right so here's my second knot my, my probably my most favorite knot that I tie the most especially for drop shots this works well if you want to keep your hook above the ground but you want your weight on the bottom um, so what I do, um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to use a hanger on this one, but basically you take your, uh, your line and you create a knot, not a knot, you create a loop and you kind of pinch it. Uh, it's gonna be really easy with twine, but with a uh, line, you wanna kind of pinch it a little bit. Kind of see right here. And you wanna stick this pinched, basically two lines that you've folded together through the eyelet of the, uh, the hook. So you basically be going like this and so it's through here, and then you take this and you tie a knot around it, like a regular basic knot. And then now you have that loop that you had done. You take that and you take the hook end and you put that right on through and you bring it all the way around, you tighten it up. And what that does actually, here I'm gonna kinda, just imagine that's tightened up. Um, you actually end up with this excess line where you put your weight on. Uh, the knot is tied not nearly as well as this one is. Uh, maybe just one or two basic knots on there. Um, and that's really because if you're catching a fish and this is dragging on the bottom or you're just working your line, uh, this is probably gonna be the thing that gets hung up first, the weight. Uh, so when you break off, you're not gonna lose your hook or possibly your fish. Uh, you want this to break off first. Yeah, so that's probably my uh, that's probably my favorite line right there. My favorite, my favorite knot right there. That's my favorite knot for sure. All right, so moving on to my next favorite knot. Um, this knot that I'm about to talk about right now, this one I don't really use as commonly and you really only wanna use it with heavier line, especially mono. And that's just because it's a little bit harsh on the line just the, because of how, how many twists that go into it. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, but if you have, we, I use it a lot back in California uh, when I fish in the ocean. Uh, we gotta put on multiple hooks on one line. Uh, so this is kind of what I learned. So take this line, and it took me a long time to actually learn this and how the guys in the boat do it. But you just kind of wrap around, just one little quick little loop, or you can tie a knot, it doesn't really matter. But you got like, you know, these two lines right here, um, kind of where your fingers are and the excesses are hanging here. And you just start twisting this right here. And you just twist it, twist it, and the entire time, you know, you've got these these twisted ends kind of coming in, but you just hold it tight and just keep twisting it, and keep twisting it, and keep twisting it. And then when it starts to get kind of some tension in it, 
you come into this bottom end down here, you grab it, you pull it through. And what this actually does, it doesn't work too well in twine, because like I said, it's kind of harsh. But with thick line, especially mono, it slides right on, and it creates this really strong knot with this loop on the end, kind of like that. And you can do this all along this line, all the way up and down it. And with this loop, you know, of course, I mean, I'm sure most of you already know what I'm gonna say, but you take this loop and you pinch it, and you just slip it right on through your hook. And then the hook end, you know, kind of like the one before, you slip it through. Uh, and you can tighten it and there's you got a hook on your line uh, so yeah this is probably uh, my second favorite knot but like I said I don't tie it a whole lot just because of the nature of how abrasive it is especially on like I wouldn't use this ever with anything less than 10 pound test um, but especially if you're going for big fish um, or you're out in the ocean I know they use this a lot in California uh, fishing for rock rock cod and stuff like that yeah so um, I'm not an expert at all if you guys like these knots great like this video please subscribe if you guys want more um, I'm just gonna be keep pushing out videos I try to put one out every week um, I really appreciate the support thanks <laughs>